It was a successful first time launch into space today for Amazon billionaire Jeff Bezos. After a short trip on board his Blue Origin rocket, Bezos and his small crew landed safely on the desert floor in West Texas. Now, Bezos called his launch into space the best day ever. The world's wealthiest man says the flight fulfilled the boyhood dream to fly into space on his own rocket. Here, catch. Oh, yeah. Finger balls. Ready? Today's successful mission in Blue Origin's New Shepard rocket marked the first time the company had launched a live crew into space. Along with his younger brother Mark, Jeff Bezos' crew included 18-year-old Oliver Damon, a Dutch student who is now the youngest to fly in space, and the oldest person in space, 82-year-old aviation pioneer Wally Funk. We had a great time. It was, it was wonderful. True. I want to go again fast. <laughs> this high-tech joy ride, more than 65 miles above the Earth, sets the stage for the start of Blue Origin's commercial passenger service this year. It felt so normal and natural, almost like we were, humans were evolved to be in zero-G, which of course is impossible. Eight minutes into the flight, the reusable rocket landed vertically a couple of miles from its West Texas launch pad. Two minutes later, the crew capsule came down, gracefully supported by three parachutes. Bezos says he learned about planet Earth during his brief experience in space. When you get into space and you can see the Earth's atmosphere, it's so thin and fragile looking. So we do have to take care of this planet. Bezos intends to use his Amazon riches to build a new empire in space. He's battling for suborbital tourists with Virgin Galactic and Richard Branson, oh who reached space in a rocket-powered plane nine days ago. And competing with SpaceX and Elon Musk for orbital business, satellites, the moon, and beyond. We need to build a road to space, build, I mean build infrastructure, reusable space vehicles and so on, so that the next generations can build the future. Blue Origin has planned two more space tourist trips by the end of the year. Advanced ticket sales have already reached $100 million.